Welcome to the Boat Show. Today we're coming to you from the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show and we're blessed to be with Federico Ferrante, President of Azmet Benetti of the Americas. How are you doing, Federico? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here and for your hospitality and I'm glad that you'll find the time to come see us. Yeah, so first and foremost, we're sitting on the verb which is the perfect kind of match between America and Italy. A lot going on here between the Michael Peters Hall, right, and that Italian style. Tell us all about the inspiration for this book, everybody. Well, thank you, because this is a, this is a really great uh, question, and uh, I don't think you could have put it any way better than that, because uh, the verb, we are on the 42, we also have a 47 and a 48 coming out, um, is really represent the perfect marriage if you wish, between the two cultures, and uh, it was an experiment. Uh, we felt, uh, you know, we are here in the U.S. now with a, with a corporate presence, uh, starting from me, that I came here 19 years ago to open the American branch, and now we have uh, uh, myself and another 19 for a total of 20 here. So, purpose of that was, first and foremost, uh, to support and learn the consumers. And uh, we did, and we had the feeling that uh, you know there is nobody which built the uh, center consoles and outboard center console better than the Americans. That's their core product. It's like the Flybridge yacht is Italian, the center console is American. But we saw a sort of a migration of uh, uh, usage of the consumers of that product. That was originally a very, very radical fishing product, and we saw that many boats were buying uh, what the market was offering. So center console fishing boat, but they were not really fishing that much. They were using them more to spend good time on the water with friends and family. And therefore, a very radical fishing boat, uh, if you don't use it for fishing, might be not necessarily the most comfortable thing to, to deal with. So what we wanted to do was to take uh, that DNA, so the performance, the outboard, the speed, the sea handling, uh, that's why the verb is designed underwater by Michael Peters and the power is Mercury outboard. But we wanted from the rub rail up, as I like to say, we wanted to make it an azimuth and uh, have that uh, aesthetic look and also the lounging, comfortable feeling of all the features on board. That's how Verb as a collection started and uh, thank God, because I radically pushed for it myself mm -hmm. in the company, uh, it worked and uh, has been actually the best selling Azimo Veneti product ever in history in terms of numbers per time. And uh, yeah, so that's the, the DNA. Creating a, an American center console in terms of performance and easy handling speed, but an Italian yacht when it comes to main deck and lower deck and, and looks and feel and lounges. So these are boats which are totally designed to spend good time with family and friends on the water. You might, we have a couple of customers which have put a couple of fishing rods here and there and they <laughs> say they go fishing, yeah, yeah. even though in Florida, but you just draw a line yeah. where you get something. But they're not designed to fish. They basically created a new segment, uh, a segment that didn't exist. So a lounging, yes. having great time, uh, set a console yeah. in a way. Relax, is, have, a on steroids. Of, have a couple of beverages, visit your local restaurant, you know, that yeah. sort of thing, sandbar. So Federico Ferrante is actually a Florida guy. You've been here quite a while with Azimut. Talk about the growth and what it's been like for the American market and Azimut. I love it. Florida guy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yes, I am, I guess. Uh, well, uh, I, I started with, the, with Azimut Benetti in, in, in the year 2000. And uh, after four years in the headquarters, we decided that we needed a presence in, in the largest market in the world, which is the United States, of course. And Florida is the yachting capital of the world, specifically for Lauderdale. So they uh, they asked me if I was interested to move here at the end of 2003, and uh, and that I think is very important. Uh, looking back, uh, we were lucky to to get that because it takes time to understand cultures. It really takes time uh, on any standpoint, but uh, in, in the case of business and products which are so complex like this, and they are addressed to a very sophisticated demographic and specific demographic. It's not that easy from the other side of the world to grasp uh, what they want, what are their needs, what is the product right for them. Uh, our presence here was uh, extremely significant uh, 
into the product. Uh, we now have products which are perfectly recognized by the Americans. They, they fit their needs. There's really nothing uh, structural, nothing uh, which is not purely cosmetic. You know, the, the fabric uh, uh, selection uh, it goes all over the world. But it's, the products are designed for the Americas, and that's because of our strong presence here. And more than anything, uh, the capacity to listen, to listen to the consumer through shows, events, and interaction. And uh, yeah, that reflected on the product. And I think the Verve is actually a perfect example of the result without going into personal opinion. But yeah. the mere numbers, uh, if you look at the amount of units, we sold uh, close to 160 units between the 40 Verve, the 42 Verve, and the 47 Verve in a matter of four years. Yeah, never, never happened before. Right. So, listen, Federico, I really want to thank you for your time and you know explaining to us that marriage between Azimuth and Amer the Americans. Appreciate it. Thank you. No, my pleasure, and uh, you know, God bless America and Viva Italia. There you go. <laughs> All right, ciao, ciao. <laughs> thank you.